<laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Made you watch. Coming at you live in the wreck. The world's sexiest boxer, Natasha Kali Kamara. <laughs> Guess what? I'm always going to be that. I'm the sexiest. And to any other woman that is confident, she would tell you she's the sexiest. And she would tell you she's the baddest. And guess what? On my channel, I'm the sexiest. My video, I'm the sexiest. So y'all can get mad. I'm here for it. I have time. Um, arguing is a sport for me. Um, I actually have a master's degree um, in the argumentative department. I'm really good at it. Um, very articulate, very punctual um, with my phrases and the terminology that I use. Um, so it's definitely, it's definitely good exercise that y'all um, that y'all um, have me doing right now. Um, an amateur boxer. Ooh, y'all should stay tuned because if y'all mad that I'm saying I'm the sexiest, oh my god, you guys are in a treat. I'm gonna make you guys. So upset it's crazy because um I have a bunch of fights coming up right read the description don't ask me nothing else about my fight video read the description I have some sparring clips read the description y'all don't read my description but um I'm gonna make you guys so upset because I have so many fights coming up and um you know once I really get to a certain point not only am I going to be calling myself the sexiest, but I'm going to be calling myself the best, um, the fastest, um, the most defensively sound, the most technical. Oh, my God. I'm going to make you guys so mad. It's freaking crazy. Your mind's going to blow. Um, but, yeah, I just think that it's so weird and interesting that, I mean, I guess I get it, right? World's sexiest boxer. I can see if you have, like, a pessimistic... Um, mind frame how you just immediately take that as negative um but I was coming from more of like a positive like a optimistic I'm more of an optimistic person but anyways for like the pessimistic people out there I can see how immediately you just get hurt because it's like oh wait I have a I know some boxers that are sexy and if she's saying she's the sexiest then that means she's saying they're not sexy and I guess I get that, right? But fuck it, right? That's not what I'm saying. And this is YouTube, right? I'm building my channel. I, I'm My goal is to get views, to get supporters. I, I am a firm believer that I think it's dope if you guys get to see me as an amateur and grow to be a pro versus me already. Of course, you know, let's say I turn pro and I'm doing so good. Y'all don't know about me, but... How dope would it be if y'all get to grow in me as an amateur to a pro? So that's where I'm coming from, right? I'm building my fan base from the ground up as an amateur. I want you guys to grow with me. I want you guys to see me from the amateur, see my technique um, evolve into this uh, pro fighter. And then when I go pro and I'm out there doing what I do best, of course, I'll get more supporters. But then I would have my like my my foundation already versus waiting till I go pro and then now you know pro fights are out there and people are getting to know me I think this is the best way because it's more of like a full immersion into um into the process into the journey right so I guess I'm just being innovative in that way not a lot of people do that so I know this isn't the most popular way but I mean nowadays the way social media is evolving and just how the times um are growing like I'm adapting to my my the age right now right this is the time of of social media right so why not take full advantage of it and adapt and use it to my um my benefit you know what i mean um but yeah i guess that's where i'm coming from with it um but of course that doesn't me saying I'm the sexiest doesn't take away from anyone else being sexy, but I don't care who it is. You're never going to catch me saying somebody it looks better than me on my page. <laughs> like, that's not going to happen. To me, I'm the best. I'm the sexiest. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's okay because I love myself. I'm going to always be my best supporter. Just like how you guys are supporting your faves and you're like, oh no, you're not the best. That's great. You're their supporter. You're supposed to do that. But I'm my own supporter. I have some supporters right now and it's constantly growing. What I will say is when I do go pro and it's popular and more people know about me, I'm my my memory is profound and I even go as far as writing names down. I'm going to remember the people that try to tear me down while I was coming up. Uh, don't try to spin the block and hop on the bandwagon when I'm already up there. You wasn't with me shooting a jam. Who are you? You know what I mean? Like, in any boxer, every boxer, well, I won't even say that. There's boxers that don't that skip the amateurs and they go straight pro, and that's cool too. We all have our own route. Me personally, I feel like I have more of a pro style, which is why I'm doing the amateurs. The amateurs is a whole different style. You can gain so much experience with that fast pace constantly going. You know what I'm saying? It's I want both sides of the coin. You know what I mean? That's why I'm doing these amateur fights and I'm building my amateur resume. And then I'm going to switch to being pro. Um, but y'all are so mad that I love myself. And it's crazy, but it is what it is, you know. Um, a wise man once said, if you can't handle being hated, you can't handle being successful. And I'm I'm ready for all of that. The only difference is, uh, <laughs> this is not a safe place. If you think you're just going to pick a copy and I'm not going to respond. Because we're going to talk. We'll talk about it. And at the end of the day, I'm winning. You're literally on my page. Like, I could you know <laughs> so um hate it or love it you guys are tuning in and i appreciate it um keep tuning in i'm actually been doing some more content today i'm gonna do like a jump rope video um and i might title it the world's best jump roper <laughs> um you know and read the description, you know, show me that you guys are like you guys are watching that you care. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is a secret sport low key. So you're really not supposed to post too much. But um, when it comes to certain things like my fights, I have my fight clips. Uh, I have my last two fight clips in my phone. Um, I did have like a year or two layover, like almost three years. COVID was a good reason. And then I also had surgery. Um, so I took, I had to take some time out the gym, but I have my last two fights that I had in October. Um, I have a, I have a couple fights coming up. I want to get to the point where I'm live streaming it, but I want my fan base at a certain point before I'm, you know, doing that. So the challenge is give me the 50k subscribers and I will post my last two videos and get me to a hundred K subscribers and I will live stream my next bout y'all have until March because <laughs> I have a fight coming up in March there's a fight in April and there's a three-day tournament um coming up after that and honestly I'm my goal is I never had the opportunity to do nationals and I want to do nationals this year um and get ranked you know what I'm saying I'm this is my journey and I'm gonna be whatever the whatever the hell I want to be I'm the sexiest right now, so <laughs> by the end of the year, I'm a, that's going to not only be the sexiest, but I'm going to start saying a whole bunch of more shit, so stay tuned, because if that got you mad, I got more where it comes from, um, and again, me saying that I'm the sexiest does not, I don't have that mindset where I'm, I'm not a hater, I'm not taking away from nobody because I'm uplifting me, ask any girl on the street, again, she's the baddest, in other words, the sexiest, me, I just like the term sexy, I think it's a it's a very intriguing word. I don't know. I like it. So I'm the sexiest. And you on my page giving me my views. <laughs> Y'all weird. But um, stay tuned. Like I said, I got a lot more for that. Um, I got a lot. I can't talk straight. I got a lot more of that. You know what I'm saying? Of a lot more stuff that's going to make you guys upset. Um, But... Like I said, first they laugh at you, then they hate you, then they get curious. Now they want to, or they might want to fight you first, then they get curious, and then they try to be like you, then they try to love you. It's a process. And I know I'm starting from the bottom. So, uh, it's only one way to go. All right. See you guys later. Thanks for tapping in with the world's sexiest boxer. <laughs>